<laughs> love you too, sir. All right. <laughs> the fellas love Conzi. <laughs> but we're the ladies. <laughs> I have the least professional opening of any show on television. <laughs> Who else comes out in slow motion? And wah, 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 and then, oh, 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 That's either very good television or very bad television. And I know how I'm casting my vote. Oh, wow. Oh, man, tonight's a good show. I get, whenever I get close to the camera, that means I'm sincere, because tonight we got the goods. Tonight. Tonight we have the goods. We got a good show tonight. Great show. Great guests are here. I'm in a loose mood. <laughs> Just took a muscle relaxant. No. Uh, Lots to talk about, of course. Arnold Schwarzenegger in the news every day. This thing gets crazier and crazier. I love coming out and saying, of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger running for governor. Uh, that's just fun in and of itself. Uh, California gubernatorial candidate Arnold Schwarzenegger came under fire this week when it was revealed that he participated in group sex in the 1970s. That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, when asked to explain, Schwarzenegger said, I'm a Clinton Republican. That's what he said. It's nice. Wow, it got quiet in here all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. I'll stop being verbal. That's clearly a mistake. You'll like this one, or not. Either way, I get the check. Uh, according... <laughs> According to a new CNN survey, more college students know Paul Newman from his salad dressing than from his work in movies. It's kind of true. Yeah. Yeah, in a uh, related story, Ben and J-Lo have been asked to make a salad dressing. I just thought you want to know that. And, uh... Maybe this isn't on. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem all along. Is it on? Or is it the material? <laughs> or the guy delivering it? <laughs> Wait, that's me. I'll win you over. I got an hour. Uh, here's one you're gonna like. This week in Florida, the founder of Domino's Pizza started a new university. Isn't that weird? He opened a university, started a, founded a university. Yeah, not surprisingly, the school's mascot is a fat guy sitting on a couch. <laughs> that was nice. That was, I'm taking that one. That was, <laughs> by today's standards, that's, that was great. Oh, you're gonna like this one. Why? Because it's my last joke. If you don't, technically I'm screwed. Uh, singer Justin Timberlake's in the news. This is the strangest outing I've had here in a long time. That's Justin Timberlake's here. Aha! Ooh! Boo! What is that? All right, we're gonna get all together on this one. We're gonna, come on, we're all in this together. Ha <laughs> ha! Late night with all of us, baby. Singer Justin Timberlake's agreed to appear in an upcoming McDonald's commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, McDonald's tried to get all the members of NSYNC, but most of them now work at Burger King. I should have just kept on going. Got... Probably there's a cab waiting for me downstairs, go to the airport, get out of town. Why would I do that, though, when we have such a good show tonight? Nice transition, huh? That's right. Good old friend of mine's on the show tonight. He's hilarious, one of the funniest people I know from the movie, Dickie Roberts. John Lovitz is on the show! He's good. 
He used to be the liar. <laughs> Back in the day. Uh, you all know our second guest is Fez from that 70s show. We can also be seen in the brand new movie Party Monsters. Wilmer Valderrama is on the show. <laughs> good man. I think he's a good man. And then musical guest Jet gonna perform tonight. This show. Show's good. Right over here, Jimmy Levine on the Max Wonder. Some Jimmy! Yeah.